Hello and welcome to the Popal States, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Markets. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of you that upon is any form of personal advice. Go Markets does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of you that upon is any full advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Wisconsin. The blue wall, as they're referred to, which is Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania, is needed to absolutely play out for Harris to have her have any chance of winning this year's election. And Wisconsin is interesting. The reason it's called the blue wall is that pretty much every time the Democrats have picked up those three states, they've won the Oval Office. And those three are absolutely in play. And we've been through Michigan already, but let's go through Wisconsin because it is slightly different as well to the other seven purple states that we've been looking at. Wisconsin has the highest level of white vote out of the seven by quite a long way. What's also fascinating about Wisconsin is that the demographics play different to the rest of those seven as well. First and foremost, they have a very big interesting slide that those with university education, more likely than not on the white population, will side with Harris. We saw that in 2020 and the polls at the moment for 2024 show that university educated or greater whites are siding to her by even greater margins. The catch is on the flip side, non-educated whites are definitely moving towards Trump. They are a bigger portion of the population. That needs to be made very clear. The other thing that's very interesting is that Latino and black populations inside Wisconsin are breaking towards Trump rather than breaking towards Harris, which we're seeing in the rest of the country. The thing is though, those populations are really small comparative to the rest of the whole country. In fact, they're no more than 12% of the entire population. And that snap towards Trump isn't actually that big a deal. When you look at it overall, they are more likely seeing about 60% to Harris versus 40%, whereas other states it's are up in the 80s for those two demographics. So again, Wisconsin is quite interesting and it's 10 electoral college votes. They're enough to probably outweigh what is likely to be pickups in places like Nevada and also in Arizona for Trump. If she picks up this one along with Michigan, then clearly they offset each other straight away. But that's why the blue wall matters. If she falls in Wisconsin, and as you can see here with the chart from previous elections, it happened in 2016, the Wisconsin overall majority is ever so slightly moving back towards the Republican numbers. And for that reason, this state is absolutely not only in play, but could be the decider for the entire election like it was in 2024.